In this course, we're gonna learn how to edit and publish a Zillow video walkthrough. All you're gonna need is your cell phone and to download the Quick mobile app. Let's get started. So in the previous video, we went through step-by-step -step how to shoot the video. You're gonna shoot it in succession how you would if you were editing together the video in real time. So you're starting on the outside, going up to the front door, working through the entryway, living area, kitchen, dining, master, and so forth, all through the home, through the backyard. So now that you shot your video, jump into your Photos app and review your videos to make sure everything looks good. So I like to just skim through these videos real quick, making sure everything looks right. And if you see any videos where you really kind of messed up and missed the shot, then you can jump in and go ahead and delete those. But all of this footage is looking good. I've already gone through and pre-looked at this footage and I'm digging how it looks. So now we're going to jump into the app store if you haven't already and make sure you download GoPro's app called Quick, Q-U-I-K. There it is. We're going to get it downloaded. Now that it's done downloading, we're going to launch the app and get started. We're going to adjust a few of the settings, so make sure you're, you quick, click start, allow access to your photos. First off, before we get started, we're going to jump into our settings and make sure that save videos in 1080p HD is turned on. And you can turn to shut these off if you want to. Perfect. Now click the plus button to get started. Typically your videos will be sitting right under recents. But since I shot this video the other day, I went ahead and saved it in an album. So now we're gonna select it in order for how we shot the clips. You can add highlights to your video, but normally you just select them straight down and then you can arrange media down here if you need to. But I like to just select them in order because we shot it in order for how we wanted the video to be edited together. But after you watch the video, you can always jump back and alter it. And so you feel free to rearrange clips if you need to. Just going down, selecting them all in order. And ending with our last clip. Perfect, now we're gonna add the 62 video files. Awesome, so it launches that quick, just instantaneously. So some of our favorite presets, there's a whole bunch of them here, but we really try to do presets, editing styles that are more clean and professional. The two best are epic and raw. Some of the other ones we've wow. messed around with as well are, uh, Grammy is pretty good, and then uh, Sliced is pretty good as well. So for today, we're gonna go with Epic because that one is probably my favorite. So we're gonna jump in and click Edit, and on our first screen, we're actually going to paste in the address. Now we're going to jump into our format and select cinema and this will save in the future. Duration will be automatically decided, uh, music start, so, and then the filter. All right, so let's make sure that our format is selected as cinema and then we're going to jump into our music. Now when you are selecting a song, select a song that doesn't have any lyrics associated with it. We typically think about the style of the music in relation to the home and the client. If they're not gonna want something that is too edgy, then try to find something that is uh, more down the middle of the lane. I typically like to go up and there's an area that says our selection for this style of editing. And so I'll listen through some of these and try and find a song that'll fit the vibe of the house. So don't spend too long trying to find a song. Just find the first song that you think is hip and go with it. I like this one a lot. Awesome, so we're gonna load in that song. 
typically you're not talking while you're shooting this video. I was actually shooting a training video while we were capturing this video. And so it'll automatically detect if there's a voice talking and it'll bring it up in volume. So make sure if anybody's talking while you're shooting this video to make sure to mute it before you edit it together. So now that we've selected Epic, our graphics, and we can actually alter the colors if we want to. Click OK. So now we've selected our music, and then we're gonna jump into our editing. And we're just gonna play down and watch the video through. So basically we're watching back to see if there needs to be any corrections in the editing. If there's a bad shot in there that we need to delete it, or if it actually selected the clip at the wrong time and so the cut doesn't look right, it doesn't smoothly transition together between shots. So, so far everything is looking really clean, really good. Nice little jump cut, it looks like it split up that clip. Things are looking really nice. So that shot right there, I think that would look really cool if it was sped up. So we're gonna go up and edit there, and then we're gonna go to speed, and it's going, and we'll just make it go fast. So I'll start back the previous clip, see how it cuts together. So if something doesn't look quite right, you can actually click the edit button and jump in and alter these clips. Say if there's audio that came through of somebody talking, you can jump in there and mute it. Or if you need to make something slow motion or fast motion, this clip right here, we shot it at 120 frames per second. And so GoPro automatic, so Quick automatically recognizes that and will put it in as a slow motion clip. Now I'm not a huge fan of that shower floor shot, so I'm gonna jump in here and just delete it. It's as easy as that. So we'll jump back to the previous clip, see how it all connects together. So this looks like it's coming together really nicely. We've only had to make just a couple adjustments to the footage as we've been coming along. Okay, now on this last clip here, we're gonna add in the address. So this quick here, you'll just click the little trash can symbol to remove that. We wanna make sure that we don't have the quick logo at the end of the video. So to add text over this, you click edit, and then click text, and then we're gonna paste in the address. Click okay, and now when you go back and watch this clip, it'll pop up the address here with a nice graphic. Perfect. Now we'll jump in here and with music start, you can alter where it starts uh, and then there's duration. So this 
because of the length of, of how many clips we shot of this home, it turned it into three minutes, 11 seconds, but you can actually alter this. If you think it's too long, say you end up with a five or six minute video, that is too long. Uh, so we need to shorten that to three, two to three minute range. Uh, so I'm happy with how that was in our format. And so if somebody needs a square format, you can do that right there super easily. I love going in and tweaking with some of these filters that they offer. Now don't get too crazy with some of these filters. You know, you can uh, put one on, but kind of back it down a little bit so it's not too strong. Uh, it kind of gives it a fun vibe, some cool colors to it. But kind of back it down so it's not too strong. That one looks pretty cool. Nice, I'm digging that, so I'm gonna select OK. And now when you go to save, you just wanna save this to your photo library. Now make sure, at, like at the beginning, we wanna export these at 1080 HD. And so that's what it's doing right now. It's gonna go through and export this to your phone. After it's completed exporting, you're gonna upload it to Vimeo and also upload it to Zillow.com. Now make sure you leave the app open during the export or the export will fail and you'll have to re-export it. Perfect, it's done. Love this app. Okay, awesome. So now we're gonna jump into photos, make sure everything looks great. Okay, there's our exported video right there. Thanks for checking out this course on how to edit a Zillow video walkthrough. Now you know how to shoot, edit, and deliver your video. I can't wait to see what you guys come up with for your own Zillow video walkthroughs. I'll see you on the next one.